We're able to see here Alexander Samakutiaev and on the uh, far side, Elena Sarova out of view is Barry Wilmore. All of them waiting for their launch in uh, about five and a half minutes now. At this point in the countdown, the Soyuz first and second stage engines are ready for launch and telem telemetry has been received from the rocket, indicating that all primary and backup systems are ready to go. Also, the launch key has been inserted in the launch bunker. That's a real key, and it transitions the launch sequence, sequence into automatic mode. Four minutes to go now. Onboard systems have been switched to onboard control. The commander's cockpit displays and controls have been activated, and the crew members are closing their helmets, or as you can see, have already closed their helmets, which puts them on suit oxygen. Fuel lines and other elements of the rocket engines are being purged with nitrogen to, pi to fireproof them by removing vapors of fuel and oxidizer. Just at the just in view at the very top uh, center of the screen here, you can see the toy rabbit that will be used to indicate when the crew members reach zero gravity. At the moment, it's hanging from a uh, string in the cockpit, but soon it will be floating. One and a half minute now left till launch. The ground propellant feed has now been terminated. One minute to launch now. Soyuz is on internal power and auto sequence start has begun. Abort. 35 seconds now, the first umbilical tower separating from the booster. Ground umbilical to the third stage has been disconnected. Twelve seconds, the launch command has been issued. Five, four, three, two, one. And liftoff. Butch Wilmore, Alexander Semikutiaev, and Elena Sarova now making their way to the International Space Station. So it uses delivering 900 or 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. View of it here in the night skies above Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan as it makes its way now one minute into flight. One minute and ten seconds. Velocity at this point is 1,100 miles per hour. Everything nominal so far. Good 
One minute and 54 seconds now into launch. Everything going well. And uh, eight, the escape tower has been jettisoned. At this point, the four strap-on boosters have been jettisoned. These have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 28 statute miles. So we use now traveling about 3,350 miles an hour. <laughs> Back with in-cabin views of the crew inside the Soyuz as it makes its way now two and a half minutes into flight. Still seeing Alexander Samakutiaev on the uh, bottom left-hand side and Elena Sarova on the top right. Butch Wilmore out of, out of view here, but uh, sitting next to Samakutiaev. Now at two minutes and 55 seconds into launch. At this point, the launch shroud has been jettisoned. And the All continuing to go well. Three minutes and all continuing to go well. Three minutes and ten seconds into the flight. So he's just traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles an hour. So he's core stage performing as expected. It's uh, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, with a single engine with four fuel chambers providing between 178,000 and 222,601 pounds of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. The stage will continue to burn until the four minute 43 second mark. The Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique. The third stage will ignite while the second is still burning. This is why the Soyuz has an open area between the second and third stages. And uh, there, finally, a, a view of uh, Butch Wilmore inside the Soyuz. And again, the toy rabbit that's going to indicate when the crew has made it into microgravity. Everything continuing to operate nominally as the uh, Soyuz uh, continues on its flight. Four minutes and 20 seconds now into its journey. Four minutes now and 48 seconds into flight. Core booster is separating at an altitude of 105 miles above Earth. Soyuz is now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz third stage. This engine is providing 67,000 pounds of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Team on the ground continuing to, perform, to report that every uh, thing working as expected, all systems performing nominally at this point. Six minutes and uh, 45 seconds now into flight. Alexander Samakutiaev, uh, commander for the Soyuz, waving there. Seven and a half minutes into today's flight, so he's now traveling at about 13,500 miles an hour. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. These stored commands 
called time tagged commands allow many of the Soyuz systems to be automatically activated on board computers as uh, at precise times stored in those computers. Nine minutes now into launch, and the third stage of the Soyuz has uh, separated. The single liquid-fueled engine shut down and dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Third stage is performing a maneuver uh, that will open a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Team here on the ground reporting that third stage separation. Houston, that looked like a good ride. We got to see about the first uh, 30 seconds and then lost the uh, Soyuz behind the Dragon. But we are happy to be watching NASA TV and see these guys safely in orbit, and we'll have dinner waiting for them. Houston copy. Sounds good to us. Team on board the International Space Station reported they got to watch the launch. Uh, as I was saying, the, the third stage cut off uh, and separated as planned, and uh, the crew and its capsule are now safely in orbit. The spacecraft is automatically executing its pre-programmed commands to deploy the antennas and solar arrays. Soyuz is orbiting at an altitude of about 143 miles by 118 miles. That orbit will be raised systematically over the course of the next six hours, placing it in close proximity to the International Space Station. Control of the spacecraft from here on will be overseen by the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. Still getting a good view here of the crew inside the Soyuz. Now, as I mentioned already, uh, to space and uh, getting ready to move into rendezvous preparations as they begin making their way towards the International Space Station. They 